Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra again. And this will be the very last um, painting lesson I can give you. Because honestly, I have taught you, I have taught you everything I know about painting. I taught you how to paint skin tone, how to paint rust, how to use pigments, how to use uh, non-metallic metal, how to use true metallic metal, airbrush, um, base design. I taught you using green stuff and everything else about painting I know. And there's only one thing left that I have been missing. And today on uh, Facebook I found the answer. That thing, the, the final lesson that uh, I have forgotten all the years. And uh, the thing is, learn to accept failure as a success. <clears throat> what that means is um, basically very simple. Um, when you start painting, uh, you have a learning curve looking like this, it goes up and up and up, and at some point, boom, it stays. It seems like a straight line, but it is constantly going upwards, but very, very slow. That's because you uh, want to, you, uh, how to, how to say it? Um, well, let, let's say you want to master a technique. For example, uh, wet blending and uh, painting with that non-metallic metal. Well, um, you will get constantly better and better and better, but every time you try it, it is a failure. For example, this year is also a failed uh, experiment because you can clearly see here the, uh, the different steps in the true metallic metal uh, steps here, but this is only for pro painters that can see that. If you are not, not a pro painter, you see that and say, oh wow, that looks so awesome and so cool. And that's the point. Um, you, you have to uh, let yourself um, accept that that what you produce, even that it is not satisfying yourself, it might satisfy others. And that's the point in um, learning that uh, failure is success. <clears throat> um, you want to know the difference between a master and a beginner. The master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. Most of the time you see um, a great piece of art, for example, a golden demon winner or a crystal brush winner and his uh, awesome piece of work and then you think okay I'll try this you sit down you paint and you you make a failure and then you stop and there's there's the mistake the master would not stop he would see the success that he has successfully uh, managed to find a way to not paint it. And then he starts over, takes another miniature and tries again. Until the time then uh, this uh, raising success bar is uh, <clears throat> climbing up to the point where he succeeded in his mission. That's the difference between a master and a beginner. So, like I said, I have taught you everything I know about painting and now it is up to you to train that. I can't give you any more advice than that what I have already given you in all the other videos previously, previously to this one. But don't worry, I will still continue making videos. I can still uh, show you how to paint a Chaos Warrior like this in a step-by-step -step manner. But uh, I doubt 
I, I highly doubt that there will be any new insights about painting that I can provide to you. So, um, I hope this uh, last lesson has given you a little bit insight in uh, the mindset of a of an absolutely pro painter, and uh, you can start to uh, learn your own uh, failures to accept as a success. Because when others see your miniatures and they say, "Oh my God, this looks awesome." then this is a success for you and not a failure. Remember that. Well, so much from me for now, for you. And we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.